Hey guys, I'll be showing exactly how I do my wash and goes today. So I am starting on freshly washed and conditioned hair. I'm adding two pumps of my leave-in to each of my four sections. And this is the She Scented Passion Fruit and Flax Creamy Leave-In. So I divide my hair into five sections like this, and this helps the curls to lay evenly without a back part. Now for the lemongrass styling gel, and I have actually already gotten one full use out of this jar. Now I do have my spray bottle of water, which is going to be key since I am not doing this in the shower today. I'm starting at one of the lower back sections and just misting it really well with the water. Okay, so my hair is already detangled. It's now really wet and also slippery from the leave-in, so that's perfect. And I am gonna just be working in small strips as I start adding the gel. Okay, there is the gel that I'm using. So I am going to smooth on the gel, rake it in, and then shingle. And yes, shingling does take a little bit of time, but it is what works for my hair. It gives me the best long-lasting results. Alrighty, after the lower back sections are done, move up to the upper back section. I break this upper section into three parts so that I can guide how the curls are going to lay once they're defined. Okay, so I am going to start with the middlemost part, and I want these curls to just fall straight back. I don't want that awkward middle part to deal with later. Again, I'm gonna mist it really well, and then I'm going to start working in small strips.
So you'll see here, I try to work with my hands behind my head as much as possible so the curls are shingled straight down the back of my head to avoid that middle part. Alrighty, I finished defining the curls in the middle part and the left part. Here is a quick look at doing that right part of the top back section. And just as we did previously, we're gonna mist it really well and work in small strips. So again, just pay attention to where the shingled curls fall. I try to shingle some of the curls toward the back and some straight down by my ears. Okay, the back is done. It looks great. There's no middle part and the curls are all laying really nicely. Okie dokie, onto the front sections with more of the same process. I'm just going to shingle these curls so they fall straight down towards my ear or towards my jaw. And voila, that is it. Now I'm just going to sit under my hooded dryer for an hour. So this jar allows me to do about two and a half wash and goes, so I'm just gonna use the remainder the next time I open another jar. Okay guys, here are my fresh results after one hour sitting under the dryer.
no flaking at all, no product buildup. Here I am the next day, so this is day one. Okay guys, so last night I did stretch my hair. I used my bands and scrunchies. So this is first day hair, and yes, it does look like ramen noodles. And that's the same kind of results I get with like a wet line or an eco gel sometimes. So anyway, this is a hard holding gel for sure. definitely a hard hold gel okay so i am just gonna go throughout my week and it will look better and better so i will see you guys later all right it's day eight yes day eight so i did have a little bit of rain today and my hair kind of shrunk up just a tiny bit but it's been an amazing eight days i've had definition and shine seriously the shine was just number one perfect it was beautiful so yes these two mm -hmm. i think these two are kind of my top combination that i've tried so far so i'll show you what my hair looks like right now but i'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow honestly this could go another two three four days but i just need to do a wash so i'll do that tomorrow morning but it has been beautiful i have loved my hair throughout the week